think it's going. It's on? Yes. Are we sure about that? I think so. I don't know if anyone's here or not. <laughs> I can't tell from this. Hi. Someone comment so we know if you're there. Oh, Georgia Blair's here. Yay, <laughs> I caught you live. Okay. Seven US says hi. Hi guys. We're gonna do a summer last hurrah summer layout. Because I thought since summer's like ending, we would just do one last layout and then move on to fall. You guys have to see this puppy. We are puppy sitting one of our puppies. Um, the people that bought her went on vacation, so we got her back for a few days. Her name was Lucy, but now it's Roxy. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> She's so happy. She, she wants to get down so bad. And we have another puppy that's roaming around that's here still. And there's four dogs. And there's four dogs around. in here. So that's fun. Okay, so we are going to use the Summer Basics paper pack and the Summer Basics die cut set from that's available on Amazon. We are the first one we're doing is like a pool layout. I don't know how many if I can get around to doing two. Um, but we are going to do a pool layout. I'm just seeing as many people that can come. We're just waiting a second. Yeah. If you can't hear us, let us know. Oh, People are saying they can you. hear. Someone said they can hear. And someone said, yes, but column is low. So I'm not sure what that means. But. The, col the column? Column, I don't know. They better not unplug that camera. <laughs> Earlier today, the puppy came and like unplugged all my computer. It like messed up everything. It wasn't this puppy, it was a different puppy. Under the desk. She Aww. is crying so hard. Okay, I'll put you down. You can go play. Okay, go play. They're like running around the cords <laughs> and the tripods. Okay, go play. Hi, Blondie. Want to see this one? Come here. Yeah, we do. We're dog people, actually. Come here, Blondie. We better be because there are four of them and we have two puppies here right now. Six dogs in this room with us. Oh, look at this one. Oh, you're so handsome. This is a boy, a boy Cavapoo. This volume is a little low. If I, I'm gonna pull that just a little. Our microphone's up here. Can't see it still. Uh-uh. Tell us if that's better. So this is a little boy Cavapoo. Look how blonde he is. We call him Blondie even though he's a boy. Is that any better? Can you hear better? Okay. Okay, so anyway, we just got back from Disneyland a couple days ago, right? Yes. Tuesday night at like one in the morning and then our kids had to go to school the next day, so that was fun. It but was now fun. we are back to work. Okay, Blondie, say bye. I got a new hat. <laughs> Good, the volume. Oh, my hair now is all over. So if you have questions, make sure you put them all in caps. And understand that we're rookies to this, so we're learning. But I think we have a good hold on how to do it. Okay, so we are going to be doing a summer layout. Wait, Loretta Potts right now is doing the freebie as we speak. Oh. Doing the, the, the super easy, all you do is layer. When I was doing the one minute make last night at like <laughs> midnight, we were laughing because it was like, this is so simple. You just lay, lay, like they're all the same size. You just glue them together. So 
it was like 48 seconds long, but that's fine. It was super easy to put together. Okay, so we are, do you wanna switch? Yeah. I kind of got started on this layout. You guys let me know if you already have this paper or not. You can kind of follow along if you do. The paper and the die cuts. So after this, I'm gonna be doing all fall stuff. So I thought this would be nice to just kind of get all the summer stuff out of the way and move on to fall. Um, when we were at Disneyland, it was the Pixar Fest. One day and then the next day, like the day we were still there, it was over. So we left with all the Pixar stuff up and then when we went to Disneyland the next morning, the Halloween stuff was, not all of it, but a lot of the Halloween stuff was up. The autumn decor. Yeah. We kind of wished that we were there longer because all, like, all the Halloween stuff is opening on the 7th, which is tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, like the Haunted Mansion was closed, so. But all the decorations were there. Yeah. We were like so bummed we couldn't go to it. We wanted to stay longer, but we knew we had to get back to you guys, so. Anyway, okay. So I already got started, do you wanna switch? So this is kind of what I have so far. Um, all of the die cuts I have in front of me so I can just kind of see which ones I want to pick and choose from. Um, so half of this is like beach, half of these die cuts are beach and half of them are like just summer. So this is not glued down or anything but this plaid is a 9 by 11. Our dogs are so loud you can hear them shaking their collars. I'm sorry. If we shut the door, then they would just bark trying to get in the whole time. Maybe we should go they, put them in the kennel. As long as they don't knock over the camera. Teddy! Teddy there! They're normally not like this. It's because there's two puppies running around. I know. I'm going to get Teddy Bear because everyone's obsessed with them. Oh. Where is he? Teddy! Teddy Bear! Right here. Oh, hi! Come here. So everyone that comes to our house is obsessed with Teddy. I know, you too. <laughs> Look at this Look, dog. She wants to be seen too. Teddy is the only boy and he is a poodle. And his his hair, his fur is like carpet or like a rug. He's kind of like a sheep. You could like shear him. He is so funny. And we laugh because the three girls just like bully him. Like he is like the bottom of the totem pole. He has a complex. So we always say that he needs to go to therapy because if you say his name, he kind of just rolls onto his back and sticks his legs up. Like he doesn't know what to do when you talk to him. But everyone that comes to our house is obsessed with Teddy Bear. Hi, hi Teddy. Oh, <laughs> okay. Anyway, sorry, we're obsessed with our dogs. Okay, go play. Okay. Okay, so at the pool, so this is what I have so far. This plaid is a 9 by 11, and I just kind of placed it so it's, you know, there's space around it. The blue polka dot is a 6 by 10, 9 by 11, 6 by 10. This stripe is a 1 by 12, and Four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Am I going too fast? Three by three. And these are both three and a quarter by three and a quarter. We will put these in the description yes. after we're done. We'll have all the measurements down. So I thought that we could do just like a pool layout with some waves and some bubbles. Um, I kind of just starting started setting stuff like it's not I was just kind of throwing stuff on here should we go put them in the oh, kennel? oh you start doing that I'll put them away we'll, put, we'll go try to make them go to sleep come on dog kennel in the, the kennel did they all leave? no there's a puppy in here still blondie oh he'll find his way Okay, 
So I haven't glued these down, so I was just gonna like kind of move this off to the side and then try to put a second layout with it. I don't know if you guys can see that very good. I have, my desk is not very big, it's not big enough for this, but we will make do. Plus Jeff is sitting next to me and is taking up half of my space. So everyone's saying they love the colors. I love the colors on this too. Um, this is one, a fun one to make. It was, I love the bright sunny colors for summer. Okay, so I have some of these leftovers from the first, so I'll just take these first and see if I want to use these. If not, then I will find something else. And I'm just kind of putting this together as I go along, so I have no plan. We'll see what we need to do to make it work. So are there any questions yet? Um, not yet. Thank you. Our, we do love our puppies. And the colors on this is, they are really bright. I love the yellows. I'm like a yellow-orange person. And I really like the yellows on this. Is your phone ringing? I turn it on. We have so much going on all the time with our puppies and trying to run all these different businesses with like the Miss Kate Cuttables side and the Amazon side. It's a lot of work so sorry if we have to answer our phones, it will just be Jeff, I'll just make him do it. Okay so this is a, what was this? Let me see. This is a six by 12. Yeah, I could use a Euler. A Euler? A Euler. A Here's a Euler. Euler. <laughs> At our house, we call them Eulers. <laughs> I have the biggest problem with saying the wrong words, and my grandma and my mom do the same thing, and I'm turning into them. My kids make fun of me all the time. Okay, so we have a 1 by 12 and a 1 by 10 or 1 by 9. It's a 1 by 9. So you guys let me know. Do you like um, like 4 by 6 uh, photo mats or do you guys like the 3 by 3s, the smaller ones? So let me know on that so I can do what you guys want me to do. I do have a 4 and a quarter right here. Four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Did you tell them where these are available? These are available on Amazon. Um, is there an, a link? A link in the oh, description? Oh, here's a link. There's a link in the description, but here it is. So, if you guys have any questions about anything, even that's not related to this stuff, ask us and we will answer. Behind the scenes things if you want to know stuff. I'm not entirely sure if that link is clickable or not. Oh, we're, we're saying happy birthday to Ken. Is Ken here? It happy is. birthday, Ken! We love Ken and Sean. We love them. This is an exciting angle right here. What? I was just bouncing back and forth. Oh, okay, for I'm just trying to figure out what paper I want to use. What paper should you use? I have a lot of polka dots in this one, so I need something. Maybe some plaid. 
So Spiral Rocks 346 is asking where do you get your um where do we get our what? I think that I think that maybe this Oh look, I'm learning new things. Where do you get your inspiration from? Who drives you? So, okay, so I get that question all the time. Everyone I know asks me that like nonstop because they are, they don't know how I come up with like a new design every day plus all the layouts and stuff. So like everyone is always like, how do you come up with that every, come up with something new every day? And I answer them, I don't know. <laughs> I just do. I just re, I kind of just recopy myself if that's to be honest. Um, I don't know. I don't really, I kind of don't like to pay attention to other things out there because I don't want to get influenced by it. You know, because like a lot of like designers and stuff will see someone's design and kind of just redo their own version, which is, I mean, it's everyone does that, so it's not like I'm complaining. But I try not to pay attention so that I come up with my own ideas without being influenced by other designs. But I do see like, you know, like you'll be walking through a clothes store and you'll see like a cute saying or a cute little something and it like puts an idea in your head. Not necessarily copying it, but it just gives you an idea of something that you could do. So I do that. What else? She will ask us sometimes, but then instantly regrets asking. Yes, I do. I'm gonna start cutting paper. Yeah. So I'm out of this Gracie, who is 17, and I both love, you can cut, I can talk louder. Okay. We both love to give suggestions, and most of the time they're just silly. I keep saying that I want a speedboat with a tube. So if you want Kate to design a speedboat with a tube for tubing, then let us know because I keep suggesting that. For years and years. It's become a joke. I don't ask really anymore though. Um, do you create cards also? Um, I actually, so I have a hard time with cards. I mean, I can do them and I do do them sometimes. But I have been trained to work on a bigger scale just by doing these layouts for so long that I have a hard time fitting everything that I want to do in one little card. Like I want to just keep adding stuff. So <laughs> it's, it's hard for me because I am just used to having big areas to work with. So I'm not, I just am not good at it, you know? I just, nothing I do is like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I just, I'm never pleased with it. So I do it if I have to. I do do a lot of um, invitations, birthday invitations for my kids' birthdays or neighbors or my family members just digitally and then we just print them out. I do do a lot of those. I have um, requests from family members quite often <laughs> to do things and so yeah, I. I keep busy with that as well. So, okay. Crystal wants to know if all that paper comes in one kit. Yes. Yes. So, this is actually the set. And the set comes with all these papers. This is the cover page. A full sheet of everything on there and all these die cuts. So, all of this comes together in one package. Mm -hmm. It's Pretty not much. the cardstock. Yeah. Not the cardstock. We are working on that, actually. Can I say that? Yeah. <laughs> We're working on cardstock. I have everything. We. It's every. It's ready to go. It just takes a while for the production of it and to get it here. So. Can yes. I? Can I say that surprise? We're getting cardstock to add to our stuff that matches perfectly with all of these different 
If it you says, like cardstock, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> I'm that's like I am so excited because I have a hard time finding cardstock. Plus, it's like. 80 cents a sheet at like my local scrapbook like at Michael's it's like 80 cents a sheet it's like crazy. that is like insane because you have to use a lot of cardstock to do layouts and stuff um, especially layouts like you can use little pieces like I'll use this kind of stuff when I'm doing my one minute makes because you can just you know stick stick like the little like scraps and stuff on it so I do have a ton of scraps I use but for layouts, you need a lot of cardstock. So I'm excited. I'm very excited for my cardstock to start showing up. But yes, everything other than the cardstock, the paper, and the die cuts all come in the set together. Which there's over 60 die cuts and 16 sheets of full size paper. And we are kind of curious to know okay, this is a question I have for you guys. Would you want double-sided paper and have it be more expensive, or do you like the single-sided just to keep it simple and have it be cheaper? Because we could do double-sided, but we'd have to raise the prices a little bit because it's just more work. Um, there's just different manufacturing processes. Yeah, but we don't know if people, because a lot of people say, but it's not double-sided because that's kind of what you know a lot of people do. So. Double-sided is the industry standard, but I think it's because it's a, like more cost-effective. For who? For the printers, because they only have to buy one sheet of paper, but then they have to run oh. through the print twice. Yeah, well, it takes longer. But I always thought that was silly because you have a lot of wasted other sides, where ours, I like that you everything you get you can use. You don't have to just use 50% of it. Yeah, so you guys let us know because we're kind of curious about that. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Oh, Georgia says the link did work. Thanks, Georgia. Okay, um, what size do you cut your SVGs at? Sometimes I make them too small. Any suggestions or thoughts on how to size SVGs for layouts? Um, so a lot of you guys, you guys that buy the SV or get the SVGs, the free or whatever, know that I am very, um, how do I say, I like detail in the SVGs, but I also want to keep them simple. So, um, a lot of the ones you can use for like card sizes, and you guys kind of know common sense which ones will cut out that size. Um, it gets kind of complicated when you have like a, a mini layered thing that has a lot of stuff in it. For layouts, um, I don't, I always like to do it bigger than smaller just because it gives more of an impact. Plus, I don't have to worry about recutting if it doesn't work. You're always like having things go over top of things. Yeah, and I overlap photo mats and stuff all over the place. So for example, this is a, a print and cut, but this is, I believe, here's the, oh, here's the, the ruler. Euler. So that's about five inches wide. This would cut out fine on a machine with all the different layers of paper. Smaller than that, I don't know. Good answer. <laughs> Um, I am like flustered. I can't do this second layout. <laughs> yes, Crystal, all that paper comes in the kit. Oh, thank you, Auntie M. Your patterns and designs are always so well done. Thank you. I try really hard. Cause back 10 years ago when I had my other business and I was, we were cutting out shapes, like I was designing everything and then cutting everything out in cardstock and layering them and then selling them all together. So I would always know how Keep what, going. I figured out in my head how to layer the SVGs so that they work so that they don't show paper behind them and so that they are cuttable. So I am kind of 
obsessed with making sure that they're going to cut exactly perfectly right. I can't put something out there for you guys that I know is not going to cut perfectly. Like, I can't do that. Like, physically, it just, I can't. Well, they have always cut very clean. And they always, they, like, I've never, we just, I mean, they just don't, they always work. In fact, I don't know if I can say this, but, well. Say what? <laughs> The people that work at the Silhouette store, the where I submit, because I submit a lot of my stuff to the Silhouette store, they said that they just always push my through, push my shapes through, because they know that they're always going to work. They don't ever have to, like, double check them to make sure that they're not. I was there. Yeah, they said that, that when whenever they get my shapes, they just push them through, like they know that they're going to work. So, I try really hard. And in fact, a little secret that I do is that when um, when something is showing up behind, so, or when something needs to be layered behind something else, I always make the behind the back layer slightly smaller than the top layer because I can't stand it when you're layering something and you can see the back layer on the outside of it. It drives me crazy. So. I will kind of make everything smaller that goes behind so that you can't see that layer behind it showing up. Does that make sense? Do I need to go get one of my things to well, show? No, the, when I made the video showing the haunted house layering, I showed them that. If you go yeah. look just a couple videos deep, there's a video about making a haunted house and it shows the the order that I will layer them in Cricut Design Space because I always know that the top layer is a little bigger. But I, I have to say, I watch her spend hours at the computer making sure that the files cut like the best that they can. And no one's perfect, but we really get very few, hardly any people like running into issues with, with how they cut. And usually if someone does have a problem, it's usually because they're cutting it out too small, which it's hard to, it's hard to guess. Like when back in the day when I was using Cricut cartridges like years and years ago, I never really knew what size to cut things out because I didn't know if it was going to work until mm -hmm. I started, like you look and see the, all the intricacy of the pieces and then you're like, yeah, that's not going to work smaller than four inches. So it is kind of hard and it's frustrating if you have to recut something because it's too small it's not going to work um, but I think you can kind of judge you know judge by how if it will cut small by looking at it of course like ones that are just like one layer or two layers cut some like cut better smaller just because you don't have to layer little pieces and stuff so anyway okay what else I went um, off on that for a long time. I'll ask and answer questions that I know while you're doing that. Okay. So, oh, what was your start in paper crafting and designing scrapbook die cuts? Um, like back a long time ago, was that? Um, how far back do you want to go? Because... <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you really, really like long stories. I've been watching her do this for what, almost 15 years? I could tell you the I'll whole backstory. I could tell you the whole backstory if you guys have a while. You just let me know if you want to hear that. And people are saying they like single-sided. And I agree, single-sided is better. I'll give you the condensed version. No, you don't oh, know. I don't, you don't know, know the condensed all this. version. I think they want the condensed version while you're doing that. Um, okay, what 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 started me in the industry? Is that what? Yeah. Okay. Um, back, I want to say in 2005 or so, I um, was just a casual scrapbooker that really didn't do much because I had little kids. But there was a scrapbook store that opened in my area, so I thought, you know, what it would be kind of fun to just have like a part-time thing thinking I would just work at like the cash register or something at night just because I was bored 
Um, so I went in and I asked them if they were hiring and they said, we're hiring designers that can design stuff and teach classes. And I was like, well, I've never thought about that. Maybe I should see if that would work. So they had me like design some stuff and then take it back to them. And they liked it. And so I started teaching classes at this store and we would just, <clears throat> what we would do is we would design layouts um, like this, like a two page 12 by 12 layout and then package them and then sell them. So um, I did that for a while and then I don't even remember. I think they started making me work at the cash register and I didn't like it. <laughs> so I was like, I'll just do my own thing. So a friend of mine, we, that worked there too, we decided to like just make an online store. Well, wait, first of all, you ended up designing like 90% of yes. all the layouts they took to a big expo like, for them and they made all this money off of you. And when you saw how much money they were making, all of a sudden the wheels started turning and you're like, wait a second. Yeah, I could make... Because you got like $600. Yeah, well, they were making thousands off mm -hmm. of my layouts. So anyway, a friend of mine that worked there, we thought, well, let's just try to do this like an online type thing, the same thing. So we kind of just threw some of our money together. I think we started with like $1,000, like hardly anything. And we started like selling these, we call them page kits on online. So at first, like I would say the first couple of years, it was just like, <laughs> we didn't make any money. It was just work for no reason at all. And we were kind of both ready to be done at that point. But she, she was done and I thought, well, maybe, you know, I have an opportunity here. What if I just try? Like, let's just, like I just kind of throw myself into it, work really hard, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I, we already have all this stuff and we have all these accounts with all these people. Sorry. Um, so let's just try it. This is not the condensed version. I'm just <laughs> I'm telling the long version. Sorry, I will stop. So anyway, she decided she was done. So I, when my little Oliver was, in fact, when I was pregnant with him and when he was brand new, it, I don't know what I was thinking, but I kind of just decided that I was going to try. And I started releasing like one page kit a day and then two and then three. So I was releasing three page kits a day of the same thing, and then I was packaging them myself, cutting out all the stuff, shipping everything, answering all the emails. I did everything by myself for a long time until I just couldn't do it anymore. So then Jeff had to start helping me package, and I mean, it just kind of took off. I don't really know why, if it was just because I was releasing so many new ones a day. Is that it? I. Well, and to be honest, when I started going with her to expos and saw like the other page kit companies that were around, it, it made sense to me as to why people were buying hers. They're, they're just, she puts a lot of work into them and it's very obvious, I think. Like, there's been times that I'm always like, can you just, like finish so you can go to bed and she won't <laughs> like she will be up until three in the morning working on something until it's the way she wants it it's she, usually the freebie she has to never, be honest <laughs> i have never seen her just like say this is good enough i'm done it's always been i'm going to keep going because i don't want to disappoint anybody and i don't want that's always been my main thing i do not want to disappoint my customers like i want when I was running my other business, I wanted every single day to try to please as many people as I could and have them be excited to wake up in the morning and get online and see what the new kits were because it was three kits a day, seven days a week, and it was exhausting. And I was designing, I mean, I designed everything by myself, everything. And so it was tiring. I worked so many hours a day. And it got to be so big that we had 30 something employees. We were in a big, huge warehouse. Um, Within a year and a half, we went from our basement to a 9,000 square foot warehouse and 30 employees. And my kids were little. I mean, they were 
little and it was so hard and it was exhausting and I was completely overwhelmed. I mean, I had no experience running a business. All I did was like, I was just a scrapbooker that liked to do it. And all of a sudden it turned into, I was like this president of this big, huge company that was just, it was just taking over everything. Jeff quit his job like right at the very beginning. That was like nine years ago or something. Anyway, it got to the point where I just could not do it anymore. I was having panic attacks. I was <laughs> crying all day. I was like, I can't be responsible for it. Cause we had like all these families that worked for me that were supporting their families with, if I designed a good layout. Um, we had husbands and wives working for us. Yeah. We, she was like, yeah, it was, Employees are hard, but it was it, it was, was an interesting experience. It was my dad always said, "You sure have a tiger by the tail," because it really was trying to keep up as much as we could. And it was very successful. It really was, and um, it was hard. It was a hard decision to kind of be done with it because it really. First of all, it was like my whole life was, baby. was put into this company, and I felt like I was just abandoning it, abandoning, abandoning it. Anyway, so. Can you show them what you're doing? So she's just positioning everything, and then she'll go back and glue them down. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide what I want to do. I'm, I'm just all over the place here. I hope everyone wants story time because <laughs> That's what you it's did. story time. Um, so then I decided to stop that. I, we sold it to um, some people and I decided to just do the SVGs online and not have any employees and I could still be at home with my kids. And the opportunity that the other company gave me was I could do that and have a following of people follow me into this new thing. If I didn't have that, there's no way I could have just like worked from home, supporting my family, designing SVGs. With just digital. With just digital. It yeah. like, it couldn't have happened unless I had the whole following of people that kind of followed me, came with me. And I remember watching and being there she self-taught herself self-taught herself adobe illustrator someone was asking what software you use to design your svgs and she uses adobe illustrator and i was there through all those like long nights of her teaching herself how to use this software i but, didn't even like have youtube back then i know there wasn't <laughs> Luckily, we had made friends with this lady who was a graphic design professor in Boise. And we had met her at a scrapbook expo. And I had her cell phone number. And so we would text her questions on, how do you do an offset path in Adobe Illustrator? <laughs> like the and then would basic wait things. for Diane to, to text back and be like, what's right here? And she was... She was so nice. So. Yeah, when you run into people that, you know, are just so willing to, like, She was just willing help. to just help. Well, and that's how Ken and Sean are. Yeah, they're like, awesome, too. Questions we have. Like, I ask them the dumbest questions. And then when I tell Kate, she's like, I can't believe you asked them that. I know. I'm like, really? Don't bug them. But they're just so gracious to help. And it's just, Ken always says, you put good out in the world and it comes back. And it's that's true. true. So anyway, so I did Miss Kate Cuttables from home. Jeff worked works for me for five or it's been about six years. Five yeah, years. But up until this new phase, I always told everybody in the neighborhood that I was partially retired. Because <laughs> he would just answer emails, basically. Because I answered emails and like did a few things, and yeah. We got really good at making Pinewood Derby cars because I had time to do that. We got real, I got really good at doing all sorts of things that I shouldn't have had time for. He basically worked part-time 
and which is fine. It was it was nice because it it gave it time for me to do what I need. Like he did did all the kid stuff, mostly still does, like so that I can work because something that you guys don't know is that the freebie that I do, I don't design that until like 10 o'clock at, at night for the next day. So I just kind of procrastinate it because... Well, it's Big Brother season. Big, I, I'm obsessed with watching Big Brother. Yeah. But it's because that's when it's quiet in the house, the kids are in bed, I can focus on doing it without any interruptions. And so that's kind of just what I've done as I start working at night for the next day and then I stay up late getting it all ready and getting it all done. So um, yeah and then now the one minute makes add another <laughs> a minimum of an hour and a half, two hours to that. So sometimes I'm doing the voiceover for the one minute make at 2.30 in the morning for like the next day. So. I know it's funny that the one minute <laughs> video takes two hours, but I at least helped make the print and cut. That's about yes. all I'm allowed to do. That's not true. That's all that I can do reliably to the standards that she wants. Okay, and also I want to tell, I want the, the reason why we started doing these papers and physical products for Amazon is that you guys know and I mean I can't complain because it just um, it happens but there's a lot of file sharing going on like someone will buy something and then pass it on to every single person they know and of course I do the freebie so everyone gets something free without I mean most customers honestly just come for the freebie and they never buy anything which is that's fine that's fine because that's what it's there for it's for people to kind of um, get into the get into the crafting part and it's like I do it because I like it I like people to have something there that if they don't want to like you know full on buy all this stuff it's there for them to just try it out but anyway so there's a lot of file sharing going on and <laughs> the secret Facebook groups where they all share files. yeah there's yeah, some Facebook cool. groups where it's, they all just give each other files like that's and it was getting kind of hard to be able to um, keep up with um, all the bills and stuff, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, we never, I mean, it's always been good to us, but we needed something else. Plus, Jeff was like bored, and so we're, I kept thinking, what can we do to get him to have something to do? So anyway, my brother and Jeff decided to start doing all these physical products. So that's where that came from. And it's been really nice because Jeff has a, a mission. I'm not partially retired any longer, dang it. Yes, but he loves it. And I don't know, it's fun. It's fun to have a new something to look forward to instead of like the day in, day out, sit at my computer and just like um, design shapes all day it's kind of fun to have something else to think about and something because you get excited again you you get excited to want to work hard anyway so I think that this is basically where I'm gonna be done it's kind of busy and that's because there's tons of bubbles but I don't I think it's bubbles and pool just go together so this is so do you want to go through and tell them what everything is yeah so this blue polka dot is a, um, did I write it down? I had a, my, I quit writing it down, dang it. This is a 6x12, 1x12, 1x9, and then this is a, um, let me make sure. Oh, that's so nice. It's so easy to listen to you and stay focused on what you are explaining, your laid back style and thoroughness is nice to watch and listen to. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Tana Carol. Okay, so this is an 8x7, this little thing. And then 3x3, three, three, 3 and a quarter, 3 and a quarter, 4 and a quarter, 6 and a quarter. And then if you go get the SVGs, I mean the print, the die cuts from Amazon, you can either set them here like, like they are or 
do it how you want. I know I, I say that a lot, like, I don't want people to feel like they have to follow exactly what I do because the, all this stuff is there for you to customize it. Like, all the different layers that I put on the SVGs, you don't have to use all of them. You can pick and choose what you want, and I want you guys to do what you want to do, and I just am there to give you options. So... One well, crystal says we appreciate all the freebies. Oh, you're welcome. Well, don't get it's wrong. I don't. She in no way was complaining about that <laughs> because I, all I customers love. come get freebies, and that's what we want. We want um, people to to be able to have it. And if anyone ever asks questions over emails of does this work? Is this hard to work? I always say go get the freebie and try it before you buy anything. Yeah. Make sure you know it works before you spend any money. Like. And all customers that get freebies eventually need something, you know, that they pay for. And we just hope that they remember where they got freebies when they need something else. So, but the freebie of the day is... It's just, it's just our, for our customers to mm -hmm. say thank you and um, for you to try it out to see if, if it's something that you want to do. So... Catherine Watts says, I've always been impressed with the details in your items. Oh, thank you, Catherine Watts. I try. Um, so are you gluing that down? Or you I don't know. It? If I glue it down, it might take another um, hour. Well, Night Owl says, I'm a late night crafter too. I'm usually up when you post your one minute makes. Nice. Well, that's a very appropriate username. <laughs> So Night Owl, I am right there with you. I am not a morning person. Neither one of us look old enough to have a 17 year old. Um, you should see my gray hair <laughs> and my going bald head. Gray hair, hello. <laughs> I, a little secret you guys don't know, I am probably 85% gray. I started going gray in my 20, early 20s. Well, but that's because her dad is like white. My dad has white hair. So, um, it's, it's great. In fact, I try a couple years ago, I just quit dyeing it like once cause I have to do it like once a week. Um, it was not, it was not a good look. I gave that up after six months. That was very interesting. <laughs> she looked really good with gray hair. Everyone she... was calling me grandma, like all of like the all little the kids nephews. in my neighborhood, all my, my little t identical twin nieces were like, why does Aunt Kate have gray hair? <laughs> I'm a grandma. Anyway. So, well, and thanks, Auntie M. She's saying it's a great success story. Love hearing the background and knowing that you are putting so much time and love into what you do. Well, that's part of the reason why we wanted to start this channel is because in the introductory video where Kate says, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm an introvert. She really is. You guys and have no idea. I have been trying to get her to do this for years, and it wasn't until we started doing the paper stuff that we I, we realized that like we needed a way to show what was possible because we can put the product out there and show you guys just the paper, but it's much more powerful to see this and to see what you can make here, let me, let me get it so you can see Is that see frozen? It. Oh no, it's just a delay. To see what you can make, to see what you really get, and to see what's possible. And the crazy thing about it is, how much of this did you really use? Hardly anything. I have so much left over. So for this 16 paper, paper pack and the 60 count die cuts, you're getting so much that you could make an entire summer's worth Oh. Of layouts. If not more. And we're working on some things to to really expand the line. And and some things are coming into place now, finally, after like months of working with companies to, to get some better ways to make and, and bring new product and in the next few weeks, we're thinking that we're going to start to be able to release stuff a lot quicker and a lot more and have a lot broader. Like, Ken, we sent him some of the Color Me cuts. She's made these Color Me cuts that they're just black and white die cuts that you color with markers. 
and they're so cute and they turned out amazing but we haven't had our production hasn't had room to make them so we just haven't things had like the that. time there's so many things that we have in our brains that we just want to have out there like right now mm -hmm. and the but, nice thing about the way we're doing it is it does facilitate a lot quicker turnaround time to have them yeah. ready so stay with us and keep watching because there's going to be a bunch of stuff coming out there's all sorts of videos planned um can i tease about the whole design team thing we have a design team that works they don't work they volunteer it's the miss kate cuddles galleria on facebook which they're totally awesome like there's like 15, 14 women that are on the design team that aren't paid or compensated. I send them stuff once in a while, and they but they do such amazing things. And so we're going to showcase what they do to everybody. So watch for that. It's going to be exciting because you're going to get a whole bunch of talented people that are very diversified in what they're doing to show more things that's possible. What else? There's just a lot of stuff. Yeah. So. But so we're kind of like, I mean, Miss Kate Cuddles has like been our main thing for a long time. We're just trying to do different avenues. And so hopefully you guys like us doing this new direction. I mean, Miss Kate Cuddles is always going to be there and I'm always going to do freebies and I'm not going to stop doing that. There's just, we're just trying to give more options for people. Like those that don't know how to do digital things. Um. Oh yeah, see, and Catherine Watt. Catherine Watt is actually in charge of our design team. She just posted things for the, the design team. She's seriously awesome. Like, they're all awesome. And someone up earlier, I apologize if I don't recognize your screen name, was Spiral Rocks 346 was on the design team for like three years. They're seriously awesome. Like, Did you see that? Loretta Potts said she's been gray since she was 16. Loretta Potts has been gray since she's been 16. I hear ya. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, see? Spiral Rock says, yes, that's me. Um, what is the Facebook link? Catherine, do you want to put it up there? Or I can. Someone retracted a message. I'm still figuring this software out, so I'm just slow. So Kate can entertain you for a second, and I'll put the link. So someone just said that the freebies are so much more substantial than um, other people's, and that's because, like, if it's a freebie or not a freebie, I just can't put something out there that I don't love. I mean, I don't love every single one, but I try... Um, to make sure that it's something that so many people will love and so I can't stop at just making it simple I just can't for my like for the life of me. I can't just stop. I have to just keep going Plus I want if someone's gonna get a freebie. I want them to know the kind of quality that comes with You know the ones that aren't free. So I don't want to put out a freebie that's like simple and you know boring and then think oh well their stuff isn't very good, you know, so I want people that get the freebie to know what kind of quality you're getting in everything else, so That's why I I mean I do spend most of my time designing the freebies Especially right now because I haven't had time to just sit down and design like all day like I used to because with all this other stuff um, I keep thinking I'm going to get back to that. I'm going to spend like two whole days just designing SVGs. It's so hard. So right now I just have been doing freebies, but I promise I will be doing more. <laughs> I will try. The problem with all this stuff is, is that um, everyone depends on me to get... No one else can design. <laughs> no one else can design. Michael and I anything. can do all this stuff but then everything eventually comes to okay well Kate has to design this or I have she to design has to, all the packaging did, yes. for everything I have to design all the 
I mean the products so I I'm kind of torn in all these different directions but I'm trying at least you at least you're getting the freebie and I will try to do more so I just put the link of the Galleria on the, fa on the screen um, people have been asking where can I send stuff to show join the Galleria and post there because it's a whole community of people that are using the product um, but don't say anything bad or 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 inappropriate because Kathy Watt will kick you out because <laughs> Kathy Watt's the, the head moderator of it um, and she doesn't like it when you post projects that have other than Miss Kate Cuttable's designs <laughs> you had this whole conversation with her about it <laughs> anyway but yeah and it it We've been blown away by they do it without any compensation. It's been a volunteer a volunteer thing, but anyway. They're awesome, for sure. We love them. <laughs> yes, watch it. She is with a picture of the Evil Queen. Because Catherine that's Watt, her, you're, yes. she's saying LOL on the thing. Um, love the quilt video you did. Oh good, I I have another one I already told you guys, but I do have a Christmas quilt that I'm going to get out to and get some stuff on the website for that too. Yeah. So we're, the layout's done, we're getting to about an hour. Um, does anyone have any questions for Kate? It looks like, why is it so crooked? Um, I don't know, I think the camera's probably crooked, sorry if it's crooked. I know. We will put the dimensions down below as well. I just, I'm kind of being lazy and I don't want to glue it because then this could go on for a long time. So maybe when I glue it, I'll take a picture and put it on Instagram. Oh, see, Chloe's mom is saying, have you ever considered designing fabric? A lot of your designs I think would look awesome. So many times, you have no idea. Um, I always think about I could be doing so many more like wrapping paper and fabric. It's just having the time to, I mean, because basically it's Jeff and I, we've been doing all of this ourselves. My brother just started um, with us about at the beginning of the year in January. March, January. Wasn't yeah. it in January? Well, we first started talking about things in January, but it wasn't until like March that we actually had some things in play and start yeah. doing stuff. So my brother just started helping us in January. So um, it's just been us two. So I'm trying, I try to branch out, but I just, I don't, honestly, I don't have the time. I would love to design fabric. In fact, every time we do one of our quilts, we're always like, I wish that I could design the fabric and then make the quilt with the fabric and the images all in one. If, if there's anybody out there that owns a fabric company, just let me know. <laughs> the other thing that we've been trying to, to get into is doing um, digitizing the files for embroidery. Yes. We, ha so we have so many people that, asking about that too. Yeah, if anyone, I just don't have the time to do it. Well, it's, it's an art too. If anyone, because I've tried, when Jeff plays with stuff, Jeff got interested in embroidery and Jeff played with embroidery for like two weeks and then Jeff got bored. Because it's, it's like it's an art. It's like if anyone knows who wants to. Any of you guys want a digitize job files, digitizing files for embroidery, email us. Yeah. So. What else? Um, Any other questions? Let's see. Yeah, Kathy says eight new gallery members. Awesome. You know what, Loretta? Okay. So there's been a joke going on between us for years saying... Oh, that I need to be cloned? Yes. I have said that about myself so many times. I'm always like, I wish there were five more of me. I wish that there were like ten more of me. Why can't... I mean, it would just make things so much easier. Then you... Like eight of them could... Eight <laughs> Kate's could design so much. I have been saying that for years and years. Like, honestly, it's like my wish... Um, oh, someone was saying, wait, what about the embroidery? Yes, iMachine Embroidery would love it. 
So Marlene, do you digitize files? Do you take the SVGs and turn them into stitches? I mean, I'm sure it's not hard to learn. I just haven't had time to just sit down and do yeah. it because I am always like, do I research things to do new stuff or do I just sit down and design an SVG? And I'm always, I just sit down and design an SVG because that's what you guys, my customers want, so. Tana Carroll says, she's on disability. Oh, I'd love to donate my time helping someone like you and your friends to get this up and going big. I don't know how to digitize files, but I could learn. So, That's yeah. all that it takes is someone with enough, with, with a little bit of time willing to learn. Or email people us. that already know. Email me. Info at MissKCuddles.com Oh, thanks, Spiral Rocks. We rock. So anyway, may I please see the gallery link? May I please? Who said that? Polly's pretties right there. May I oh, please? the link is right here oh, on. Oh, Ken! Ken, happy birthday! Oh, Ken made it <laughs> finally. Just kidding, Ken. We did um, a spoiler though. We just got home. We did get Ken a birthday present on our vacation. <laughs> It will be going out in the mail, so you do have a birthday present coming. <laughs> Can I just tell you that Jeff is obsessed with, with Ken and Sean? I think that that's, they're like the topic of conversation all the time. <laughs> He's always like, Ken said this, or Sean said this, and he reads me their text messages. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Well, the funny thing is, Everyone that lives around here that I'm friends with, they're all like big hunters or like into things that I'm not into. And I actually have two friends now that are into being crafty and it's like so fun. But I, yeah. They're fun. We went to um, Silhouette Summit this just this last time and we've been at the Silhouette Summit with them before but we really haven't. Um, we didn't have the opportunity. We didn't really, yeah, talk or anything. So this last time, it was funny. We <laughs> went parasailing. We went parasailing with, with Ken and Sean, with my family. That was fun. That was, was. a time. It was so. funny because the, the silhouette rep that was with us was saying, they instructed me to make sure that everyone had a good time, but I didn't have to worry about it because Ken and Sean are like, <laughs> they bring like a party with them and they make everybody comfortable and it turned into like we were all like good we friends by the end of it. Yeah, it was fun. So. Oh, yep. The Ray Dunn create. Ken would like, there's two actually. I have two of them. One's Somewhere. behind her. Um, she's saying that you can draw your design in the Cricut Maker with a special blue pen and then use the sewing machine to embroider it. Oh. It was so much fun until they dunked us. <laughs> Not us, the, the boat driver. The parasail the parasailer guys. Um, they put, like, I was with my kids and stuff, and they kind of put us in the water, but Ken and Sean, I think they were trying to, like, really... Um, get them wet because they they were in the water like most of the time yeah they're saying you can use write and create to to use it well okay we'll look into that to be honest we've been silhouette users for a long time and now the the cricket with this youtube thing we've really started to like play with the crickets and it's pretty cool what they'll do i'm gonna get fired by right. silhouette Silhouette, don't fire her. She still likes silhouette. Um, someone, let's see. Florence wants a 12 months of the year paper and die oh, cuts com okay. combination. I actually have die cuts, or I have SVGs on the website. You've probably seen them. Of um, like one a month. The month, every, what am I trying to say? The name of every month on there. And... So those are on there. I could do. I actually do have the die cuts, but I have never released them because I don't have any paper to go with them. Maybe well, we should just release the die cuts for right now and then just design them. 
I know. It, if it didn't take forever. Okay. Well. Yeah, we love the silhouette too. We actually use the silhouette a lot. Out in the garage, I we. I have like all the machines that I sit we, and play with. We do our um, like our prototypes of our die cuts and stuff with the silhouette. So we, we use it every single day. I'm not saying I don't love the silhouette because I, I do. I've been using the silhouette for years. And I did watch Ken's from the car releasing the new Cricut Mystery digital pack. And the only time I will buy files, because Kay can just design them, is when they're like Disney or Marvel. Which so, I cannot do. Yeah. I would design Disney and that kind of stuff if I could, but I don't want to get sued by Disney. So I'm gonna go buy so, the Marvel. You should see all the Spider-Man. Every, everyone's always asking for Disney stuff and there's only so much I can do to kind of, you know, like the magic moments. This is about as close as I can get without getting in trouble. Yeah. Well, one last look at the layout. The measurements will be there. You don't have to add as much stuff. Um, once I glue it down, I will glue it down and I'll take a picture and put it on Instagram or something. I know, Ken, those Kawhi are everything. They're... Up until a little while ago, I was like, I only like realistic looking artwork for superheroes and Disney stuff, but the Tsum Tsums and the Kwai are seriously cool. So anyway, Oliver's Tsum Tsum Disney sh Mickey shirt was so cute. So anyway. Anything else before we go? When are you oh. going to show your Christmas quilt? Oh, you just wait. <laughs> um. I don't it's know. Impressive. I can show my Christmas quilt. I just thought that you guys... Should I go get it right now? <laughs> no. No. We'll just do that kidding. later. I didn't know if it was too soon to show Christmas stuff, but if you guys want me to do a video on my Christmas quilt, then just tell me and I can do it. Whenever. Oh, Ken likes your layout. Thanks. Okay, well... We don't have fancy outro music or anything. But yeah, we're kind of boring. The silhouette easier to use. It depends. I think that cutting. I think the silhouette is easier to use on a production level, like how I do all of my for prototypes for like this kind of stuff. Their software um, is has a lot more capabilities. Than crickets, I think, if you know how to do it and if it's working. That's the problem. <laughs> um, I think the cricket is easier to use on a personal, just crafting level. Yeah. Yeah, other than they just, like, if you watch the video we, we did about how to make an offset path in the cricket, it gets kind of silly how many steps there are, and it's really not that hard if you get used to it, but you have to get a third-party software that's free, make an offset path, where in Silhouette, it's like two clicks of a button. Yeah, the Silhouette software, I think, you have, um, a lot of power. you have a lot more power to do things. So, anyway. Is that it? We will try and make it live again next week. He wants to do Thursdays. Thursdays live. Thursdays live around 1 or 2 seem to be when we're not conflicting with other people in our crafting world. That's so okay. Sorry, we keep saying that we're done and then I read, read a comment. And Ken is so true. He says that if you know Photoshop, Silhouette is easy to use. And that's why, like, Illustrator um, and Photoshop are a lot the same. Not, I mean, they're different. They have the same type of, you know, tools and shortcuts. Um, and that's kind of how Silhouette kind of designs as, as Illustrator would. So it's easier for, I think, designers to use the Cricut software. Um, but yeah, I think the Cricut is easier for crafters. That's exactly what I was 
trying you, to say. You mean the designers? The, the silhouette is easier for designers because they're used to the tools. Yeah, because their software oh, is like. It backwards. Oh, okay. Sorry. You guys know what I mean. Yeah. So silhouette's easier if you're used to creating okay, I, files. Millie, what oh. if Millie missed the bus. Millie missed the bus. Hello. I guess we do have to end our live now. Why? <laughs> oh my gosh! I have your bus pass. I have her bus pass because uh -oh. she forgot it at Disneyland. Okay, I'll come get you. Okay, I guess this is the okay. end of live. Bye. She gave me her bus pass to hold because she for she took it to Disneyland and she didn't want to lose it. So they will <laughs> let her on the bus. Anyway, okay, I love you guys. Um, comment down below if you have any other questions. Email me. Um, I want to know what you guys want to see on the um, for the SVGs, the freebies and stuff. If you guys want Halloween stuff, fall, Christmas. I mean, people are saying it's not too soon for Christmas. So I don't know. So just let me know, comment down below, email me if you have anything, and I will see you guys soon. I love you so much. Bye. Bye.